Hi, are you the one who always have the charger plugged into your laptop that you never unplugs it? I do not recommend you to do that. The reason behind because even if the computer is shut off and the charger is plugged in, you are feeding some power to the battery and that power kills the battery prematurely and it dies very quickly. So my recommendation is always unplug when you're done using it, especially you do not want to charge it overnight because battery do not like things to be overcharged. Alright, so here's the HP laptop that I have and of course the battery is bad because the trackpad is unclickable. So my trackpad is very hard, not able to feel the clicker and at the back of the computer I can feel that there's a lump right somewhere in between this side of it. Okay, you can feel it's really hard, it feels like a lump. So that indicates that the battery is swollen, the battery is pushing from the inside out and in this video I'll be replacing the battery. Okay, so let's jump right into it. This model here is HP 15 CS. So if I can uh, zoom it closely for you. So it's HP laptop model 15 CS 0053CL. It's really hard to see but it looks like that is the model. Uh, you need to have some kind of metal prying tool or something to pry open the plastic because this hidden screw is hidden underneath that rubber stopper. So this little piece of rubber uh, is hiding the screws. I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver. Let's go ahead and remove the screws. Alright, there are three screws on the top. And there are three screws here at the very bottom. Alright, once you have removed all the six screws, go ahead and pry it open. I like to start on a corner because it looks like there was a little gap to begin with. And you want to work your way around it and if you're not feel confident with the uh, metal prying tool go ahead and use the metal uh sorry use the plastic uh, because the plastic is much better it doesn't make a dent to the computer or any scratches to the computer and again you try not to stick it too deep because you do not want to damage the internal part especially like the motherboard uh, things like that all right once you have removed the back cover you can see that the battery here is in the bottom right corner okay and the battery is slightly swollen you can see like there's a little lump right there that little lump is the one that prevents uh, the touchpad to be clickable so the clicker is it's not clickable all right so um, it's really hard I can feel that the thing is hard so we need to replace the battery remove the screws If you're not sure where to buy the battery, please check the link down in the description below. I'll link it to either Amazon or eBay where you can find a replacement battery. Alright, and let's remove it. Now, if you're not sure what model, check this one. It's HT03XL. That is the battery model for this HP laptop okay and here's the replacement and this is HP original battery it looks like this battery was replaced before by someone else uh, it has this BTI batterytech.com brand on it uh, I'm not saying it's bad I'm just saying that uh, I'm not saying the company is bad I'm just saying that battery itself is bad more likely is due to overcharge okay so replacing with the original HP battery here all you have to do is just to make sure you align the gap and the screw where you're gonna rest and once it's in finish up with the screws
Okay, at this point, if you have any um, heavy dust at your CPU fan, you might want to take this opportunity to clean it off. Uh, you can use a can duster or any brush just to brush it off. Alright, so let's put the uh, back cover together. So go ahead and snap it back in. So once everything is in, I can feel that this thing is flat, it's no longer, uh, there's a lump on it, so which is a good sign. And later on I will try to test the uh, trackpad. reinstall the uh, that little rubber stopper this little rubber thing that stop from the computer sliding away now because the battery just replaced what I recommend you to do is to plug in the uh, adapter and let's give it a charge for at least about four hours or so I uh, just do a deep cycle charge to the battery four to six hours and then start using it and here right now I can feel like the clicker is clickable I can hear the clicking sound all right so that is a good sign the clicker is back to normal and that's about it and if you do like the video please smash the like button for me I really appreciate you for doing that and of course um, if you want to share your gratitude please click on YouTube super thanks YouTube super thanks a lot you to show appreciation um, doing to to to, to to share the gratitude, show appreciations, um, you know, I really appreciate it for that. All right, thanks for watching again. Do not forget to check the uh, link down description below where I will link the battery, the tools for this battery replacement. Bye now.